In this presentation, you will learn how to create a footer that only appears on the last page of a report, replacing the standard footer. The section property has values for first page header or first page footer. What if you want to print a last page header or a last page footer? Last page headers and footers are useful for invoice or statement reports, where the total displays in the same place on the last page or on a tear-off slip to return with the payment. The last page footer header and last page footer have been added to the requested features list. You can track it by entering 11892 in the issue tracker. Until they are implemented, a workaround allows you to create your own. In this presentation, you will learn how to add a last page footer. On the page itself, check the hide page footer on last page checkbox. Add a last page footer container to the very end of the report structure. It is a layout node without the section property set. Place this last page footer container at the bottom of the page. To do this, edit the properties anchor Y and Y. Set anchor Y to 1, set Y to max. Next, insert a spacer, a layout node, into the report structure above your last page footer container. This spacer reserves space according to the height of the footer. If the height of your last page footer container is greater than the height of the any page footer, then the height of the spacer should be the difference between the height of the last page footer container and the height of the any page footer container. If the height of the last page footer is smaller than the height of the any page footer, then the height of the spacer should be zero. Follow this demo to see why this solution works. Here is a simple list report. You can create your own list report or use any to report to which you need to add the last page footer. Notice that the background color of the any page footer container is set to yellow so that you can quickly see the footer on your report pages. Run the list report. It outputs four pages and each page has the footer. First, hide the footer on the last page. Save the report. Run the report and notice that the last page has no footer. Add a last page footer container to the report. To add the container, select the page root and from the toolbox, add a vertical box layout node by double clicking on the object name. Rename the layout node to last page footer. Set anchor Y to 1. Set Y to max. Set the X size to max and set the Y size to 30 so that you can easily view the container on the report make the background color green. In a real report you would add data fields, totals, or toolbox items to the footer any information you need in the footer. Save your changes. Run the report again. See that the last page now has your last page footer container. So far, so good. You have not yet put in the spacer element. Change the height of the last page footer container from 30 to 80. Save your changes and run the report. You still have the last page footer container, 
but this time because of its increased height it is laying over the top of the report data. The last page footer container is at the size and location you specified on top of some of the report data. The last page footer is self-placing. It has Y set and self-placed items are not taken into account when computing space requirements in the parent as they can float on top of other items. So you need to include a spacer. Some space is already allocated by the regular footer. The spacer allocates the rest, the difference between the last page footer and the regular footer. Return to the report and add a spacer, which is another vertical box layout node. Move the spacer above the last page footer container. Rename to say last page footer spacer. Set the height of the spacer equal to the difference in the heights of the any page footer and last page footer. For this report, the difference is 50. To see where the spacer is put, change the X size to max and set the background color to purple. Save the report once more and take a look at the report. The last page footer no longer overlays the report data. It has been pushed out to a new last page where it sits alone. If there wasn't an overlay issue, the last page footer, even with a spacer, would still be on the same last page as the data. To illustrate this, change the font size of the table row data to 12, save the changes, and run the report. See that both the spacer and the last page footer are on the same last page. The spacer now is overlaid by the last page footer, but that is not an issue. It is only a spacer. To recap, the process is outlined on this slide. The last point states that when your last page footer height is less than the any page footer height, your spacer height should be set to zero. You do not really need a spacer, but by adding the spacer of zero, if you ever change the last page footer height, you can modify the spacer height to prevent an overlay. This concludes the presentation and demonstration. Be sure to check out the other General Report Writer videos.